Hi everyone, in this video we'll show you how you can connect your Zenduty with uh, your team Slack and uh, get all your incident updates and alerts within your team Slack um, channels and uh, through the Zenduty bot and uh, leverage the power of um, collaborative triaging to resolve incidents quickly. So the way the Zenduty Slack integration works is in two ways. First is um, you can add uh, your Slack integration as a contact information. So whenever any new incident is created and if it's assigned to you or if you're on call, um, the Zenduty bot will send you a direct message on Slack with the incident details. So to connect your Slack account as a contact information, just navigate to your profile and click on the contact information on the left hand side and click on connect your Slack account. Go ahead and authenticate your Slack account with uh, Zenduty. And as you can see that um, my Slack account has been added as um, a, a contact information. Let's go ahead and configure some notification rules. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to s I'm going to have a notification rule that sends me a Slack message for uh, high priority incidents immediately and one after 10 minutes just in case I miss uh, that uh, notification or any other alerts. For low urgency issues, I think I'm just going to stick with um, uh, a notification at t equal to zero. Now, after having uh, integrated my Slack account with Zenduty, let's just go to Slack. And as you will see that um, the Zenduty bot has been added to uh, my team Slack. So to get started with uh, the, the, the Zenduty um, Slack integration, simply type help. Currently, the Zenduty bot supports uh, four operations, that is create, uh, get, act, and resolve. Zenduty also inst uh, installs a slash command, that is slash Zenduty, which also supports the four uh, commands. So let's get started with some basic commands. So we're just going to start with get, uh, which basically fetches the incident. So I'm just going to say get one. And as you can see that um, the the status of the incident is, uh, is acknowledged. Uh, maybe I'll just say get four. And um, if I want to acknowledge or uh, resolve the incident, um, I'll just have a button right here. So I can go ahead and uh, resolve the incident. Similarly, I can use the, the Zenduty uh, slash command to, to fetch the incident details. So I can just go ahead and acknowledge and resolve or maybe just assign it to somebody from, uh, from my team. To acknowledge an incident, simply type ACK and followed by the um, the incident uh, ID. To resolve the incident, simply type resolve followed by the incident ID. To create uh, incidents uh, in Zenduty, simply use the Zenduty slash command and type create. Zenduty will sh um, present you with a Slack dialog. Simply select the service in which you wish to create uh, the incident. Give your incident a title and a summary and click on execute. So Zenduity creates an incident which is currently unassigned. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to somebody in my team. And then once it's assigned to Jim, Jim will get a notification on uh, his uh, Zenduty DM. Uh, I can just go ahead and uh, maybe acknowledge the incident from here itself and also resolve the incident. Great. You can also bring um, the bot in channels and basically use the same uh, commands. So we can use the get, act, and resolve uh, commands uh, within channels itself. And I can also use the Zenduty create command uh, in the same channel. Awesome. So 
it's basically how the Zenduty bot commands work in the one-to-one -one direct message and uh, within Slack channels. The second type of integration with uh, Zenduty is uh, directly to a Slack channel. So what you can do is uh, for a, any service that you're monitoring, you can send um, uh, the alert or incident notifications to a Slack channel. So to add uh, a Slack channel as an integration, simply navigate to your service and click on the integrations tab and uh, head over to the new outgoing integration section. So over here I'm going to say, um, I'm going to add uh, an integration with the SRE Slack channel. And I'm going to select Slack as um, my outgoing application. So to configure this um, integration, I'm just going to click on configure and I'm going to say integrate Slack. So you'll be presented with an authentication screen wherein you can choose the channel in which you want to send alerts related to that particular service. So I'm going to choose the SRE channel and I'm going to click on allow. And as you can see that uh, Zenduty has been hooked to the uh, SRE channel. So let's go ahead and um, create an incident for this particular service and see if it comes into our newly created uh, in our in our SRE Slack channel. So let's create uh, an incident for the Android prod service, which is linked to our SRE channel. And let's head over to Slack. And as you can see in the SRE channel, the notification, uh, the incident notification just uh, has come in, uh, newly created incident number 15. So everybody in this particular channel will be able to see this incident and acknowledge, resolve, or uh, start assigning it uh, to other folks in the team. Great, so this is pretty much our, uh, our Slack integration. Uh, all Slack alerts uh, are um, also sort of pushed into the incident timeline. So whenever a Slack alert has been sent, um, you'll be able to see um, the incident uh, details in your uh, your your alert uh, timeline as well so once it is assigned you'll be able to see that uh, information being logged in your uh, alert timeline uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope uh, the the slack integration is, um, is is useful for you guys thank you so much